hey guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is stephanie and in today's video we're going to be comparing natural hair versus relaxed hair as you can already tell by the title so relaxed hair is hair that has been altered using chemicals creams or lotions by breaking its natural curl pattern and overall texture to give it a sleek and straight appearance whereas natural hair is hair that has not been chemically altered whose texture is as it grows from its scalp relaxed hair is convenient it saves a lot of time since you don't have to go through knots and tangles in your hair since the hair is basically straight it's pretty convenient to keep since the density of natural hair has been broken down it's sleek and you could just glide through with a comb or whatever styling tool and just style as desired it is easy to style and it's pretty convenient to keep this actually saves a lot of time so the advantages are like multiple in one because because it is easy to style it is easy to manage you could comb easily it just saves a lot of time so i would say it's not just convenient it is actually time saving as well easy management it is really easy to manage you just need to know that is it once every three months or once every four months you have to go and do your regular touch up the first disadvantage of relaxed hair is just the fact that you're putting on a chemical into your hair to loosen your curls and to me this is just a, a big disadvantage because you don't know what companies put into their relaxers not all companies like disclose all of their ingredients you don't know what is damaging your hair and just the fact that you get like people trying to protect their hands in order to put the relaxer on your hair which is just on your scalp which is still skin which is potent enough to burn your scalp when it stays for longer on your for a longer period of time on your hair just scares me okay like next disadvantage we have scalp <coughs> scalp irritation and burns during relaxing if you're not careful you're going to get burns or scalp irritation and this happened to me a lot of times when i was when i had relaxed hair my my scalp got burned so many times and it takes weeks before it heals okay it takes like one week to one to two weeks before actually healing so yeah you have scalp irritation and burns limited versatility it's not versatile enough since your hair is straight like there's so much you can do with the straight hair when i had straight hair i'll basically just put it to a ponytail or just let it fall on my shoulders and that's all like if i'm not if my hair is not in a protective style it's either in a ponytail or for my shoulders like there's nothing else to do with it so yeah maybe i just didn't know what else to do with it but final disadvantage for relaxed hair is hair damage over time you're going to get hair damage if your hair isn't being properly relaxed hair damage loss of hair loss just thinning of your edges loss of edges in my case i experienced hair damage that's why that that was my reason for going natural in the first place because relaxer had really damaged my head to a point of to a point where i hated seeing my hair okay so yeah but this doesn't mean that you can you necessarily get hair damage these advantages are just pos these disadvantages are just possibilities that things that could happen okay so they're not like fixed they're not like you're going to get hair damage if you are relaxed so the first advantage of natural hair is Honestly, just seeing your hair in its pure natural state with all the curls and coils is an advantage for me, okay? Because I had never been natural all my life. This is my first time of being natural. And when my hair was growing out of my scalp in its natural state, the joy of seeing those curls, like I was so happy. Natural hair is so versatile. You could style it into any form you could do everything literally with your natural hair you could leave it in curls you could straighten it if you wanted 
are look at that the possibilities are endless to be honest you could do everything with your natural hair like who wants their hair to be straight if you could have all these curls and curls and do all what you can do with them the next advantage is a healthy hair and scalp well while you're going natural or while your hair is natural you really want to watch out for products that are natural everyone is looking for silicone free sulfate free all these free paraben free mineral free like you're just paying more attention to the things you're using on your hair so obviously your scalp and your hair are going to be healthier since you're when you're natural as well you're thinking of using natural oils and natural products like organic hair olive oil or avocado oil just really natural stuff and those will just make your hair healthy and your scalp as well the next advantage is growth natural hair could really grow to a really long length if you take proper care of it so just the fact that your hair is growing out naturally and you're not exposing it to a lot of things that could damage it would give you the possibility of growing your hair to a really good length self growth because just learning to know my hair honestly at the beginning of my natural hair journey it was really complicated for me i was like how am i supposed to know my hair how am i supposed to know what works what doesn't work but with time i was able to listen to my hair and it just helped me grow i was able to know what works for my hair what is good for my hair the ingredients that are good for my hair and those that aren't so just growth overall growth the first con for me is it is time consuming it is so time consuming to keep natural hair honestly especially on wash days i spend about four hours washing and detangling and styling on wash day the next disadvantage is daily styling when i don't have my hair in a protective style it is so so stressful <laughs> to just find a style to do every day especially if you're going to work or you have an activity or you're going to school or you have an activity that take you out of the house on a daily basis just finding the appropriate style for your hair on a daily basis and styling it is so stressful stressful and time consuming <clears throat> a whole lot cautious about the weather because humidity just does something to your hair <laughs> Humidity will shrink your hair, it will ruin your hairstyle and it will just leave your hair looking like a hot mess. So um, you're going to be extra weather cautious because you just want your hair to not get ruined in the middle of the day when you're in the middle of something and you cannot just restyle the hair. The advantage of natural hair is that it is more prone to breakage. It is easier to break because of the knots and tangles on your hair your hair will have single strand knots split ends and just tangle so detangling could really lead to a lot of breakage if it's not properly done and this just takes us to our next disadvantage which could be uh, hair stagnation or just lack of growth actually in this case your hair is not stagnant is most people think at this point that the hair isn't growing but actually it is but you're breaking it off each time it's dangling improperly so yeah that is another disadvantage of natural hair because it's not properly detangled it leads to hair breakage which leads to hair stagnation it's expensive to keep just finding the product the products are scarce actually I don't know about other countries but in Cameroon it is so hard to find natural hair products the one which is easier to find is Kantu Kantu is the one which is easier to find and it is still scarce it is scarce but that's what we even get to see and it is expensive natural hair products are just so so expensive 
and they are scarce as well so it is costly to keep natural hair because finding the right products to properly take care of this hair is it's work that brings us to the end of this video and i'll just like you guys to know that no hair is perfect everything is everything has a pro, has pros and cons everything has an advantage and a disadvantage so you just need to pick the one which suits your lifestyle better all hair is beautiful and that brings us really much to the end of this video if you liked it please do well to give it a thumbs up share comment subscribe all that good stuff please hit the notification bell as well so you get notified each time i upload a new video thank you for watching and see you guys in my next video bye